Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of CS Outdoors. Uh, so I just got off of work, um, I, off of, I work on a ranch, and I decided at the last minute decision to go fishing out of Wheeler Branch, it's about an hour drive. Um, you know, it's rained uh, last night, and it's, you know, it's pretty cool out, 76 degrees out. This is the coolest it's been in Texas in a while. Uh, the past, like, week and a half, it's been, like, 100 degrees at least. And so I'm going out there, uh, going to be fishing uh, evening. This is actually the first time I've ever fished for the evening um, at Wheeler Branch. And so we're going to head on out there, and I'm going to get to it soon. Hi, guys. So we've arrived. I've got my kayak stuff set up. I literally have none of my other stuff set up though. Literally have none of my other stuff set up. Um, so we gotta get that set up. All my camera gear is what I'm talking about. But I'm not bringing this camera with me. I'm not gonna bring this camera with me. I'm gonna leave this one behind. So I'm gonna end this, end this recording right here so I can get finished up. And I will catch you out on the water. Or sorry. Okay, guys. So I'm out here at my fishing spot at about three whatever in the day. Haven't ever really done this before at this place. Just coming out here random time and you know making a whimsical decision to go and fish. But we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. See what we can get. Hopefully we can get a fish or two. Maybe, fingers crossed, a lot more than just two fish. But I think it'd be possible. We just gotta figure them out. Figure them out for today. The water's pretty gosh dang warm. I don't have my fish finder set up right now. But it is pretty gosh dang warm. And um, I think that was a really good one. Yeah, it was like a three or four pounder. A good one right there guys that is a good one oh my goodness oh my goodness I was just thinking in my head no joke I kid you not I was thinking man I'm gonna cast in this rock bank but I'll tell you something I've never caught a fish off of it well guess what guys not today I beat that I'll get a sweet smell of that baby oh my gosh I finally caught a fish off the rock bank this is a good size one guys we're gonna let it go maybe keep kept catching some more we're catching fish all day, every day. Twice on Sundays, okay guys? This is what is up. My goodness, y'all. That was a fight. My sunglasses started falling off. Man, that was way too cool, y'all. Sunglasses fell off. Had to throw them down. Huge hit. Literally, right as I was thinking that, I got a little bam. And as soon after that bam, okay, that's annoying. Soon after that bam, I just got smoked, smoked by that bass. And it was a great size bass for sure. Oh, 
move. There we go. There is fish number three, guys. Look how tiny this one is. I wish this guy was as fat as the first one I caught. Oh, he's been caught before, too. We're going to let him go. Let him get back in the water. It's just so hot out here. Try and really get him to stay cool and whatnot. There we go. Bass number four. Well, oh, that's a good one. What another good sized bass right there. About 17 inches, roughly. We're gonna let him go so we can keep fishing. I bet a lot of these guys we're catching today are gonna be about that size, about two and a half to three and a half um, pound bass. That is awesome though. Ooh, okay guys. Man. This has been amazing. All right, catch a fish. I can't wait. What's to come later this summer? Uh, on the channel, I'm going up to Colorado, doing some, doing some fly fishing, some, some kayaking. But I'll tell you something. If I knew it was the type of kayaking that I'd already, I mean, it's already been booked. But if I knew it was like white water rafting kayaking, I would not have signed up for it. I don't like that type of stuff. I thought it was like this type of kayaking, just but on a cool, calm river. But then I was told it's not. But after it was already too late. And I just, I don't know, guys. I think I'm. I think it's gonna be bad. That's a good one right there. Oh my goodness, guys. That's about a 30, 30. Oh, he just destroyed this jig right here, y'all. This is probably the biggest one of the day right there. He took it, oh my goodness, hold on. Okay, that's better. Amazing size fish. He splashed the lens, so hopefully it's a little bit better. This is probably the biggest one of the day. Oh my goodness. These are just average, just great size fish, y'all. Just almost, almost the four pounders is where these guys are at. Oh my gosh. That is so insane. Finally, 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 the bite has slowed down like crazy. Okay, okay I'm getting caught up in some weeds or a tree, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy go. So I can go ahead and get hit. Yeah, I know the wind will just do it for me. Oh my gosh, this is the biggest one of the day, guys. That is a four, four and a half pounder right there. Oh my goodness, y'all. That is a giant, absolutely giant, y'all. Sorry, I'm just trying to look for more bass, see if there are any. I need to get out of this area so I can cast here. Oh my goodness, we're gonna let him go, though. Let him go nice and beautifully. Oh my gosh. Nice and beautifully, right there.